Hello everybody. Camera 56 is the EOS Canon EOS 750. Uh, it came out in 1988. There was a quartz date version of it and then an 850 that uh, did not have the flash built in. Um, it's really really simple. Program auto exposure, lock, battery check, I had that backwards, but anyway. Uh, and then it has a depth of field mode where you do a half press lock on the furthest thing that you want to be in focus, beeps, you do uh, another half press on the nearest thing you want to be in focus, and then it's ready to take the shot. So that's pretty much it. This was kind of like their T50. It's automatic everything with very little manual control. There are two symbols in the viewfinder, uh, autofocus uh, blinks when it's not possible to get a lock. Uh, it's solid when it's in focus. It just turns it off when the lens is set to manual focus. Then there's an exposure. Uh, it blinks uh, one frequency uh, when it can't get the exposure and it blinks slower uh, warning for camera shake for slow shutter speeds. The shutter it will go from one two thousandth of a second to two seconds. Um, the last setting up here is a ten second self timer. Automatic film transport it does pre-wind where it pulls the film all the way out of the canister and then it reels it back in as you take the shot so there really isn't a rewind when you're done with the roll it's rewound. It takes a 2CR5 uh, 6 volt battery, pretty common battery. It needs DX encoded film from 25 to 3200. If the canister isn't DX encoded, it defaults to ISO 25. If you hold the button, it'll do 1.2 frames per second continuous shooting. The uh, flash about guide number 39 feet. Um, that's pretty much it for this camera. Let's talk about the lens a little bit. It's the second version of the 28 to 80. Uh, it has the ultrasonic motor. You can tell it's got the gold band and somewhere on here it says it. Uh, F3.5 at widest, um, to F5.6 uh, at max tele. Uh, it goes up or it stops down rather to F38. So you can get a pretty deep uh, field of view as long as you have adequate light. The nice thing about this um, compared to its successors, the mount is metal and it actually gives you a depth of field window. Uh, the version after this and all of them since, they don't really have that anymore. So that is about it. I shot a test roll through it. Uh, I'll run another one through it and get it processed. I'll let you know how it goes, and I'll see you then.